Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome to the video. Happy Sunday. It's a beautiful day outside. I love Sundays. My favorite day of the week. And you know my diet gets a little bit lax on Sundays. So before I get into the crazy foods, I want to have something a little bit nutritious. So I'm going to have an epic bar. I love these things. This is the peanut butter. They taste so good. And after this, probably get a little bit more, um, I guess, unclean. <laughs> But since I'm back to work tomorrow, I'm gonna do a little bit of meal prep, make sure that I'm ready for the week. In the freezer, I've actually already got chicken prepared. What I did was I cooked up like five pounds of chicken thighs, weighed them out, put them in baggies, and that way all I had to do is take them out and heat. I used to do that in college all the time. Very cheap and very efficient because I don't like to cook a whole lot. And then I'm gonna do breakfast and lunch right now. This can be a big process if you guys wanna get elaborate, but you guys have probably seen my meal prep video. I will link that down below if you've not already. This shouldn't take long at all. And there you have it. In under 15 minutes, I have all my wraps, my overnight oats, I got my cashews, as well as my Epic Bar. That's gonna be breakfast, all of this will be lunch, and I'm ready to go. And typically, after I make my overnight oats, I have leftover Greek yogurt and pumpkin, so what I'm gonna do is use those things, combine some PES protein powder to make a dip for these sliced apples. Now, I don't talk a whole lot about apples on this channel. Very, very near and dear to my heart. Pretty much the CEO of, of my heart right now. Just. So, so delicious. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add probably about one serving of Greek yogurt, another serving of pumpkin, one scoop of PS like protein to make it taste good. And then you're gonna have like a, a thick slug, sludge consistency that's gonna be delicious. So good. If I had to choose one thing to put in my mouth for the rest of my life, apples, apples for sure. So I know I'll get comments about pre-sliced apples. Yes, they're gonna be more expensive, but if you're a busy working professional, it's gonna be a little bit more convenient, especially if you wanna pack it to work or pack it wherever you're going. And then another thing I wanna show you guys is some other foods that make life a little bit easy. Good. Okay, so pre-made chicken. Again, more expensive, yes, more convenient, absolutely. So if I didn't cook that, I'd be eating something like this. I'm gonna grab my Brussels sprouts off the ground. Pre-chopped and ready to go. I'm gonna roast these puppies up tonight and then this steamable broccoli, all I gotta do, throw it in the microwave. So having foods like that available to you is gonna be essential to help stick to your diet, especially when you get busy and you're working and you guys know how it is. There's always bad foods around and there's always excuses and I've heard every excuse under the sun. How many people have you heard say, my job is killing my diet or my job is making me fat? And it's never, it's never the job. You know, it might be stress caused by the job or it might be there's food available at your job, but no one's putting a gun to your head and making you eat that. It's just an excuse and it all comes down to mindset. And so the biggest tip I would give you when you go into a professional environment is knowing that you don't have to eat food because it's there. That's the biggest thing. And one of the most eye-opening things that have that I've experienced going into the working world, people love free food. And not people that can't afford their own food, just because it's free, they think that they have to eat it. And I don't really understand that mentality, but I'm not as tempted as most people, I will say. It's just one of those things where if you're trying to stick to a strict diet, maybe just Maybe save it for somebody else. Maybe somebody that actually wants it more that doesn't really care as much about a macro count or a calorie count. You know, it's really, it's gonna be okay if you pass up on some food. The other thing I will tell you is just making your own food and being prepared like, like I am this week, preparing foods in advance and not being in a pinch. When I bring Epic Bars with me and I'm hungry, I'm not gonna go and grab a cheeseburger because I already have food there. So those are two of my biggest tips I would say. I get a lot of questions about Brussels sprouts. How do you make them taste good? Well, they're amazing by themselves, don't get me wrong, but we're gonna add a little bit of light salt, a little bit of garlic powder, 
And if that doesn't do it for you, this will, I can promise you that. Parmesan cheese. It might sound strange to some of you, but that is a game changer for vegetables. And I still get a lot of questions from people asking how I'm able to go out on the weekends and eat so much good food, travel around Austin, go to all these restaurants, and you guys have seen some pretty crazy foods ever since I moved out here. A lot of tacos, a lot of chips and salsa, pizza, ice cream, I mean, you name it. And that's because during the week, I'm pretty strict on my diet. I would rather save it for the weekends. That's just me. Personally, I like to save it for more social gatherings and I don't get out a lot during the week. So I'm actually gonna have some home sliced pizza. Does not look too good right now. This is like three days old. I think it'll be all right. I mean, would you guys eat three day old pizza? Can't be that bad. There is nothing better than thin crust pizza. If you think deep dish is better, Home slice pizza, amazing dessert. What are we having for dessert? You already know, some cereal. Let me show, oh my gosh. I opened up the box backwards, that's great. But anyway, check cereal. I'm gonna share a secret with you guys. One of the greatest foods of all time is puppy chow. It is so good, it's addicting. I can't even have that stuff around me. It's Chex Mix mixed with peanut butter and maybe some other stuff. I don't really know how to make it. And I'm not gonna make it, but what I am gonna make is some Chex Mix and then mix in some pea science pro protein powder. And for some reason, that reminds me of puppy chow. It is delicious. The trick to this is to add just the right amount of almond milk. Obviously, you don't want to just be eating straight protein powder, but I also don't really want it like liquidy cereal. This almost makes that sludge type consistency that the Chex Mix just soaks into to give you that puppy chow taste. I'm telling you guys, protein puppy chow. This is amazing. And for everyone asking my opinion on the peanut butter and jelly halo top, I'll tell you in a second. It tastes like peanut butter and jelly a little bit. It has a little bit of an aftertaste. It's not my favorite Halo Top, to be honest. It's good in theory. Peanut butter and jelly is amazing by itself. I just don't know about peanut butter and jelly flavored things. But anyway, I gotta get to bed. I gotta actually work in the morning, go to the gym, all that. I'll see you then. Millionaire, I'm a young money millionaire, tougher than Nigerian hair. My criteria compared to your career just isn't fair. I'm a venereal disease, like a menstrual bleed through the pencil and leak on the sheet of the tablet in my mind. Cause I don't write shit, cause I ain't got time. It is a quarter to six. I try to be in the office by 6 30 on Mondays, so I gotta go. But I'm still petrified of going broke. That exact moment saying you can't stop. There's someone gorgeous in my bed tonight. That would really help my family. I'm still and so I I'll got an opportunity to basically not come home. <laughs> What is up my friends? So for dinner, we're gonna keep it very, very basic. Chicken thighs, potatoes, green beans, typical weekday dinner for sure. So you can tell there's a little bit of difference. Prep the chicken so it was really easy. I made this entire dinner in about 10 minutes. So during the week, this is definitely one of the things I do to help me stay on track. Dad asked me to go to the supermarket with him and I was like, no, I won't go, just go. Nightly tradition, cheesy eggs, Takashi 6'9". I don't know why, but this guy is so intriguing to me. And that is it, my friends. During the week, very easy and consistent. I try not to overcomplicate this. If you have any questions, you need anything, let me know in the comments down below. You guys know I read every single comment. Thank you all so much for taking the time out of day to watch. You could have been doing anything, anything in the entire world, and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please give the video a like and join the notification crew to get notified every time I release a video. That would really help me out a lot. And I look forward to talking to you guys next time.